And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Braum, our next donation deck. We're going to be a Star Spring deck where we're going to be trying to heal our damaged allies 22 plus times, or, you know, get 22 plus damage healed uh, to be able to win the game with our Star Spring. Now, a lot of times you see Soraka with Tom Kench. We're going to be heading on over to Freljord and pairing Soraka with Braum. The reason why Braum really works here is because Braum has Challenger and Regeneration. That Regeneration does count as healing um, your damaged ally, so you can keep challenging different stuff with Braum, have Braum regener regenerate and uh, count that as healing towards your Star Spring. Uh, let's see. Also in Freljord, we get another good, really good regeneration threat with the Scar Maiden Reaver. This, this card is just pretty awesome. This is just a good card. And fun to play the 4 or 5 Overwhelm. And whenever it regenerates, we have that. We also get a Field of Rush, so we can put like a 10 10 Braum into play, which is super scary, and a 10 10 Soraka. Um, those are both like pretty scary, especially when you get your leveled up Soraka and starts fully healing uh, cards that can get um, a lot of, of healing down for the Star Spring. You got Avalanche, which is clutch against all these uh, Twisted Fate Go Hard decks because they have just two twos everywhere with their spray fins and, and twisted fates and everything. And then also against your fearsome decks, you have uh, like all your mist rates and that kind of stuff that are all two power or two health. So avalanche is pretty clutch. And of course, avalanche is another way to do damage to our units and be able to heal them with Soraka and things like that. So pretty interesting little deck here. We got Soraka Brom to be our next donation deck. So we're gonna go try five games in ranked. All right, so we're playing against uh, Tarek Draven. I like some good old Tarek Draven. Let's go get the, the Conley Tavern Keepers. Feel like we can find other things to block, but you know we want to find our champ because we want our champions and we want Star Spring. And so I want to kind of dig for those cards with us having no champion, no Star Spring. All right, turn one, Omen Hawk. That's a card that's really good with um, just a lot of our stuff. It's better to, ha to be a little bit bigger. Like Braum, for example, being a 1-6. Gonna, be gonna be better. All right, we'll save our two spell mana. Explosives Prime. They'll never see it coming. Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't block there so I have something else for this mentor of the stones to do. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't block there. Bad for the teeth, though. There we go. Good kindly tavern keeper draw. Your tracks in the door. Huh. Surprising that nothing to play on turn three or turn four. It's a little surprising. Go, floaty crystals. The guilty were bad. You know what? Let's keep this Metro of the Stones around. We don't need to just have it die immediately. Um, okay. I'm gonna play another troll chant. Keep it alive some more. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. That permanent plus two, plus two buff is, you know, that's pretty valuable. Hey, Cabo, good afternoon. Yeah, you were playing some Terra Draven yesterday. That deck's a lot of fun. What time is it? Kate O'Clock. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> just save the Mention of the Stones, just avalanche it away. Is me going down to six? I could definitely be within... I've got me bigger than you. Could definitely be within burn range. Let me going down to four. Dang. Pass. Let's see what happens first. Okay, currently Tavern Keeper, that's a good draw. So I probably want to play Avalanche this turn. That means I have four other mana. So I have the mana for two gems and a Guiding Touch. I guess I, guess I could have gone one gem and a, and a Kindly Tavern Keeper. But I gotta worry about like des you know decimate's definitely a card I'm worried about. Two iron blisters. Oh uh, yeah, wish I didn't play that second gem. I'm gonna go Conley Tavern Keeper here. This one's on the house. Talk about your dad. So put me down to two. Welcome to get the out. Get out of decimate range. Out of my way. Speaking of decimates. I guess I play this, they play Decimate. I attack, they block the two big things. I Pill Cascade the 3-3 three, three to do to have it be five. And they die. That's my plan. Beauty and life. Okay, now they're gonna play another blocker. Looking into the future, I see purple. Looks like I'm gonna be barely losing this. I was really hoping they just didn't play another thing and they just would have played. A decimate. No. Call the weak in fire. I would not want to be you. The mountain endures. I won't pass. Darn. They blocked. Close game, but Captain Farron finishes close games, as we know. Unyielding. Close game.
Okay, own one. So not Shen Fiora, Shen Shivana. Okay. Well. Not really any of the stuff that we need early. All like Troll Chance great, Field of Rush great. Like these these cards are good. We don't need them for like a super long time. They're gonna be a deny deck, which is gonna hurt Field of Rush. Troll Chance like the one that I'm thinking about keeping, but We've still seen, what, no ch no champions and no star spring. The, the three most important cards in our deck we cannot find. Imagine imagine playing against, like, Soraka Tom Kench, where they have no star spring, no Soraka, no Tom Kench in any game. Water changes They're not going to win very much. But I guess, speaking of that, we finally, we did find a Braum, our Tom Kench. Maybe I should be passing here. Fire and fury burn in me. Ah, this is fun, yes? Cool. Alright, patrol chant traded for single combat, that's pretty good. Hey, hey, a star spring. That's good. That's good. Probably need to play this astral protection on the Brom. Okay, they were too scared. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. being a 5-5. Yeah, I don't I don't think Spooky Karma is the best ladder deck because it, it does play very, you know, it plays very slow games. Um, and it's also just not not like the most consistent. I think I would probably put it as like a 45% win rate deck. So it's it's not the you know, so, it's, so it's not the best for grinding ladder, but that doesn't mean that you can't do it, and some people do that and really enjoy it, um, and do and do well with it. So definitely not saying that you can't do any of those. Help is underway. Think hard. Think strong. I don't get to draw a card, but I just don't want to use the astral protection first. So I think I just don't draw a card. I'm not playing anything else into the strafing strike. Deadly paths, just another day in Targa. Alright, cool. I'm ready. Now wait. Yeah, Anivia doesn't really have like tons of fun spell stuff. Anivia the Anivia deck is more of a 
It's more of like a lots of sweepers, right? Like that's that's what it's all about. It's all about sweepers over and over. But yeah, that's the thing. If if you want if you want to play Spooky Karma, go for it. You know, like it's if that's the deck you enjoy. Like the most important thing is playing a deck you enjoy. That's the most important thing. So, you know, go for it. Healed another four, so we're at 14 there for the Star Spring. I, I do like that variant, Lord Draxus. I like the. I, I've seen that too, though, with the. I think I like that too, with, with playing, um, playing Lee Sin for Spooky Karma. Play that instead of playing Thresh. I think that that's better because Lee Sin can win games on its own also. So you have, like, Karma that can win games and Lee Sin that can win games. And so you're, you know, you have just, like, more. Uh, cards that just win the game on time. Stand back. Yeah, the Anivia deck's really good. We went 5-0 last time we played that Anivia deck. It's it's really good. I feel this by sword. This is fun, yes? Maybe I should just be playing Field of Rush. I didn't... I don't... I, like, I want to keep on keeping this Astral Protection available for my Braum. But maybe I should just... Yeah, maybe I should just cast Field of Rush. I mean, I guess they're, they're also the Deny deck, though. So I always got to worry about Deny. See, wait, I'm at 16. This should actually just kill them, right? Because I think I have to do that right now, because I have to do this first. So that'll be 20. Now this will be 22. So this should be able to kill them. Because it goes from, like, left to right. Okay, there we go. Star Spring. Star Spring Braum. That's pretty cool. And that's a that's a control deck, Teemo Ezreal with Field of Rush. Okay. I'll keep all this stuff. I love the Avalanche against Fearsome. Oh, I guess this is maybe not Fearsome, because it's It's Diana. Maybe it's not Fearsome, but it's still Avalanche should be good. Omen Hawk buff some stuff up. Mention the Stones buff some stuff up. Haha, <laughs> Scar Maiden Reaver. That as a 5-6 is going to be sweet. Gems are superb. Uh, bad for the teeth. 2-2 <laughs> <laughs> mentor the stones. If only a fool would enter battle on the bear. Cannot hold us down. Do not kill my mentor the stones. <sighs> okay, that's interesting. By the moon's crescent blade. I can see them playing more, like another Stygian Onlooker here. Or Doom Beast. 
I imagine the stones you did good. Yeah, did good. Pillage and burn. And now we got this big five six overwhelm regeneration. Oh, that thing's ephemeral! Oh, I shouldn't have attacked with that. I missed that. Until I had already attacked. I didn't pay attention. I should still have that 3-1 alive. Hmm. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. That was unnecessary. Looking into the future, I see purple. Man, I feel bad about that. Of course, they definitely have another Doom Beast that we know about. There's that. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. I make shepherding look easy. Lots of doombies. Yuck. Nine five nightfall. Could be a pretty sweet astral protection. Nine five pierce him, I guess. Could be a pretty sweet astral protection. Basically, <clears throat> you know, dealing nine damage to my Scar Maiden and then regenerate and put it all back with the Star Spring. Um. Oh wait. Okay, I guess I... I guess I played a little bit too much. I, I definitely want to keep the Astral Protection of, of available, but I guess I the second one was too much to be able to play Kindly Tavern Keeper also. Please do not kill. Please don't have unspeakable horror. Please don't kill the, the Reaver. Yes. So yeah, the regen definitely happens um, after the Star Spring. Set it all ablaze! We're at 12. Every doom beast. What will you have? So that's fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, what's this thing's real health, right? So it's supposed to be so it's normally seven, and then it has plus six right now, so it should be thirteen. So that's 19. Mm. 
Man, I, I ran out of time. I didn't even get to click. Like, the gems take take extra time. That that should be 21, and now this Star Spring heals it, and that's 22. Perfect. All right, GG's. That was pretty impressive. Playing against, uh, this time, Fiora Shen. Last time, you know, we played against that Shivana Shen, and we were able to... Uh, deal with the Shivana just fine. Let's try this out. Uh, I don't love that draw. I, am one with the land. I would like I a Star it. Spring. You know, like we're just going to be trying to heal a bunch. That's a good card. That can help out. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Rome is on the job. That's my shield is my good luck. Have fun. Uh. Your move. Nature blesses her followers. All right, so I'm trading troll chant. For repost. That seems like a good trade. And I get a 3 3. Oh, I don't have the mana for, for Pill Cascade. Well, that's obviously not a good trade. I need that Braum. Get one more mana. Just pass. Ooh, I like that field of rush. Break the straw. Slaughter that could the be weak. good. Oh yeah. They're gonna just deny it, aren't they? I'll be sad. I don't know why I'm not attacking the Mighty Poro. It should be attacking. I guess it makes it so the plus two, plus two card doesn't kill Mighty Poro. But it should probably be attacking. Do they have another single combat? I mean, I guess they would probably just fire it off if they had it. I would assume. River shape the land and give it life. Okay. I've survived a few winters. All right, that's two for Soraka. Show them what we're made of. Leave your tracks in the door. Three for Soraka. Right on. Oh God. And then whenever the Scar Maiden regenerates, that will level up Soraka. Yeah, not surprised there. I figured they had that because they were they were going after the Soraka. A gift from the river folk. <sighs> and it'd be nice to play the Star Spring first before attacking. But kinda want to attack first. So you get that. The full heal in. Yeah, I think we have to attack first, but obviously it'd be, it'd be a lot nicer to be able to put the Star Springs in first. I guess. I don't know. Can we, yeah, can we play Star first? What would they, they'd have to have like single, no, then they get a good blocker. I'm just gonna attack. Live with purpose. Star 
I'll clear a path for you. Oh, that doesn't leave me enough mana to, for Field of Rush. That's, that was my plan, was leave enough mana for Field of Rush. I'll protect you. I should have played Southern Star Spring. <laughs> That's why I was like, okay, I'm not going to play the Scar Mother Verena, so I have enough mana. So I should play Star Spring, and then I was like, no, I'll just play the Broadback Protector. And then I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't leave me enough mana. For the glory and beauty of House Laurent. Good grief. Flee now, or burn! My shield is yours! Fight me, I dare you. Lucky you. So they have two spells that we know of? I thought thought just one. We know we know about one from the River Shaper. Was there another one? That we should know about? Live with purpose. I need spells, speaking of spells, I don't need units. There we go, that's a spell, that's good. That's a unit, that's bad. So they have a they have a challenger here, and so you're saying they have two two of these three are spells? They have a challenger, then obviously that new card is unknown. An unfair fight. But Soraka just being the card draw engine we need. Not all of us are immortal. Yeah, that, that's not the River Shaper spell. Okay, so that's going to kill. Oh, because that's going to make another challenger. That's going to kill Soraka even through Astral Protection. <sighs> Too easy. Alright, no deny available. And that's not what Laurent Chevalier created, so they, they still have the two. They have two challengers in hand. Rally? I will cut you down. Oh god! We get to kill that thing. All right, Fiora's at three out of four. Good. That's a spell. That's good. So I can't really play, like, Mentor the Stones and Omen Hawk. Like, I can't really play these little things. What's up, Maximus? I'm doing, doing great. Excited about the new cards they previewed today. They all look really fun. And we're actually doing pretty well with Soraka Braum. I wasn't, wasn't expecting as much from this deck, but it looks like we're about to be three and one. That's what it looks like. Alright, so that's the first Chevalier card. We know that one of those two is a challenger from Laurent Chevalier. No mercy for cowards! Stars fall. Let's go our friends the door. Have you met my shield? Be at peace. We'll take what we want! Take heart! Alright, I'm gonna try to kill this Fiora first. It's already Mighty Poro. Alright, that'll give us some, some healing that we can do. Soldiers, to me! Alright, so we got 16 and 12. And we are deep. And I think that the reason why the deep matters is because... Oh, let's see, so that one's at 12, this one's at 16. Is because that's that's my daily quest. The winter's claw so that's why that popped up. The weak. Nothing stands in our way. Um, yes, okay, yeah, so Swiftwing Lancer created a Scythria. I've got your back. My lead. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the Chevalier created the Swiftwing Lancer, which created a Cythria. Looks good. Alright, there we go. There, there's game, and it is three and one. Impressive. Ooh, frostbite mid-range. This probably isn't good. Coaling strike, reckoning. Yuck. Yeah, I don't want to see Cooling Strike or Reckoning. Maybe I can double Pill Cascade and keep Soraka alive through a Cooling Strike. Oh no, I'll keep the Avalanche. The Aval you know, like they got Omen Hawk and then like Avarosen Sentry and um, the Ice Hill Archer and the 5 1 Challenger. They have all that kind of stuff. Star Spring. Can't calling strike that. Took the bait. So now I have double pill cascade. Faster than my arrow, Available for so Rucka. I'm through waiting. Let's see if they cooling strike. Darn. I want to see if they cooling strike. Because of course I have Avalanche. Hmm. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. We fight for one friend, Lord. I went to I went for the very high upside. Okay, so now, you know, they can't reckoning now. But I went for the very high upside of block. Which I probably shouldn't have, probably should have spell cascade, but I went for that very high upside of I block, they uh they calling strike, I I get to spell cascade again. Show them the way. Um, they should have the Avarosin or the Enraged Yeti by now. It can't be. I will unite the Frail Yord. Dang. Maybe something to this mid range frostbite deck. It looks pretty good. Looks like it may be pretty good. No, brought back protector. Stand back. Stay strong. Okay. Let's go with a 1-6 Braum. Is it the Mustangs? Who knows? That's scary. We're at 6 right now. Okay, so this is the button that, that does that. So it would heal 4. Okay, I, didn't, I never even knew about this button before. Okay, so it would heal 4. I can be patient. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to like go Brahms take you know go take hard on the Soraka attack. They could go you know they could go frostbite kill this. 
Or if it was just like reg you know regular prom. Okay. That worked out pretty well. Wait, why is this prom? Okay, that was that was kind of crazy. Captain Farron. Eleven. Break their backs. You are safe with Brawl. Come on, Brom. Stop him. <laughs> Leveled up. I think we can kill them next turn. I guess that, that should have gone on the Mighty Poro. But like this is just gonna regenerate. But the Braum regenerates after the Star Spring. So even though it's at 23, I don't actually win right there because the Braum regeneration happens afterwards. So we are going to go ahead and take heart this. Alright, now we can see they can't can't do the 13 damage to me this turn. I was going to have Conley Tavern Keeper also to make it 16. How about that? 4-1 and one in Master's rank with Soraka Braum. We were beating good decks. We beat Fearsome and Shen Fiora and uh, Midrange Frostbite. Those, those last three. How about that? Pretty awesome showing for our Soraka Braum deck. But yeah, good good job, baby uh, baby panda barbecue. Great deck here. This one went really well. Yeah, only two two pale cascades. The, the pale cascades were amazing. Um, pale cascade, troll chant, astral protection. Those were all great. Avalanche was good. Um, yeah, this this worked out really really well. That one of feel the rush was pretty good. The scar mother Verena didn't look that good. I could definitely just see instead of playing scar mother Verena, playing more feel the rushes. I think that's what I'd probably recommend. This Scar Mother doesn't, it didn't seem too necessary. But of course, people can deny Feel the Rush, and it's also super slow. So I don't know if you just want to go three Feel the Rush and no Scar Mothers. Because we did we did get to do some blocking with the Scar Mother. Like, it was good against, like, that Fearsome deck and stuff. We got to do a little bit of blocking with it. Uh, yeah, the Scar Maiden Reaver was awesome. Yeah, this card was really cool. We got to Omen Hawk at once to make it a 5-6, and yeah, like that regeneration. You know, just having those big regeneration things with Braum and the Reaver, those definitely help out your Star Spring. For sure. Yeah, Re Reaver is really good. The the Verena, I'm not so sure about. But the Reaver is really good. I I can even see like Verena being like another Field of Rush and then another like Broadback Protector. Or another Pale Cascade, something like that. Oh, pretty awesome. That was, that was good. Soraka Brahm. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't play three Field of Rush, yeah, because we just don't, you don't have, don't have the kind of ramp or anything. It'd just really be like a second, maybe, but probably, it's probably just good as a one-off. That's probably, it's probably a good one-off. All right, but those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and try this deck out. This went pretty well for us. Give it a try yourself if you've been wanting to play uh, a Star Spring Soraka deck with something different, or if you've been wanting to play some Braum, you know, give this one a try and let me know in the comments how it goes for you. All right, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.